Hey YouTube, it's Goddess, and I'm doing my um, recap on Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 15, episode 1. So tonight's episode was pretty, you know, basic. You just, you know, the, the first episode, beginning the seasons for Real Housewives of Atlanta, and thus far it's been pretty interesting. So Sheree and Martel, they meet up at her home. And she's dating him. She's talking about how gushing over him and talking about how much she's happy that she gave, you know, love a chance and she didn't shut that door. And she was gushing over how good he looks and how much she likes his body and that he has a big D energy. And I'm just like, girl, bye. Oh, he's so lame. He's from Huntsville. You know, the show on, on O Network. I'm like, oh, Sheree with another fake storyline fake dating story pretending she's dating somebody and they're so they're, they're so great together you know why they're talking of course Sheree has to bring up Candy's name because she can't stop talking about Candy every season she's always talking about Candy so of course she's talking about um Candy with Martel and Martel talking about oh she said you know that you know she was saying stuff about you Martel saying you're an opportunist he said opportunist isn't that her husband I'm like see he being messy he being messy he just got on the show you see that he being messy already he just got on there already talking about people and stuff he already starting to mess already you know when they get back to, to, to Candy, you know, and to her husband, it's going to be problems. So it's just like, really? And then she was talking about that she has, Sheree was talking about that she has something special for him. So they're having date night too. So my whole thing is they're talking crap about Candy. Then he's talking about, oh, they're short and they ain't finna do nothing. He's talking all this mess. All this mess. And I'm just like. This child right here cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I can't. But Martel, he's a troublemaker, obviously, as you can see. He's already for a sec couple minutes in episode being messy. I cannot with him. So Shireen has a private chef. I said, Oh, she got money like that. She got a private chef. And she's making them dinner. And they're going to eat. And then she was bringing up how Sonia and her husband Ross are having his B-Day. And his 40th B-Day. They're going to have a Gatsby um, party or whatever. Which is interesting. And then next scene is Candy meeting with her people. You know, the people that work for her. And, her, and as well as she sees them as family. She's meeting up with them, talking with them. And then she has her people over. Sonia and Kenya and they're meeting they meet with Kenya at her home and they're like just hanging out all right and then she was Sonia was talking about she had had issue with Candy because at one point because she thought Candy had she had thought that Candy thought that she was taking Marlo's side and she would never do that she was just trying to find all the information out that's all she would never take her side and stuff like that and Kenya was talking talking about the guy that she's dating now and she was introduced to Roy by Magneta so she's she's you know Talking about that she's been single since 2019 and how she was going to stay single for so long, you know. She she shouldn't have to after, you know, her current situation where she's going still going through that divorce. And then Kenny was talking and Kenny was talking about how she was talking with Candy one day and she overheard Todd and Candy going through it, you know, arguing about how he feels like she don't support him. When it comes to her project, she supports him. But when it comes to his stuff, because he's doing a movie script right now, how she doesn't support him. And then Kenya's saying, I don't want you and Todd to go through any divorce or anything like that. So make some time to help him and spend time with your husband if that's what he's asking for. And what have. And I'm like, oh. And then Kennedy was also talking about how Sheree always tries to have amnesia, acting like she don't remember what she be saying about people. She could always pull out negatives that people say about her and things of that nature and talking about her. But she can never, like, remember when, she's, when she says things about people. So, 
And also, they were talking about Martel because Sheree's bringing around Martel, parading him around. Miss Kenya talking about, oh, yeah, you, oh, I heard about him with this other chick that he's been hanging out with in, in ATL as well. So he's out here, I guess, hanging around with Sheree and then trying to say he's messing around with this other woman as well, you know. And then Miss Kenya came out and said, he tried to holler at me and he slid in my DMs on Instagram. And I was like, uh oh, sliding in the DM, he being sneaky, uh oh. But then when she tried to open it up and show the DM, there was no messages. So I guess he deleted the messages because, you know, sometimes when you have messages with people, sometimes people delete it. So sometimes you have to screenshot your conversations with people because if you don't screenshot the conversations, sometimes people can delete it. And then it's not there anymore and stuff like that. So, so next scene is Sonia and they're showing her and her family, how her family, how it is with her family and like her and her sister go back and forth because she was going, her sister was going in at her neck about the fact that she um has a boundary issue because she'll tell her kids her kids have to go inside you know you know because it's a certain time of night and then she'll sit there and tell them oh you can go outside and then it, it makes her look like the bad guy and she has a issue with that like that she be acting like she don't know any better and then next thing was marlo marlo was talking with her nephew nephew and she was, you know, last season, she was, she had that situation where she told him to leave and I guess she got upset with them or something like that. So she has some mediator there and she was talking with them saying that how they're working through it and they've been working on it for months, like a therapist or something like that to work on them issues and that, you know, she's not a bad person, you know, just, you know, have their issues, what have. So I'm like, oh, okay. So... Uh, there was a couple parts of here that I just skipped because it's boring. I just wanted to get to that that shindig, that gatsby party, because that's where all the tea, all the the fun stuff has started to get in there. So they all went to the party. You already know everybody is talking, introducing. Everybody's dressed up for the theme, the gatsby theme. It was real cute, okay? And everybody's at the party celebrating Ronnie's birthday. And then Marlo... Um, and Courtney are talking about how Candy, from what they say, from what they saying, that they think that Candy was acting around and saying that that she's not her friend and why does she think that they were friends? And I'm just like, girl, what? Since when would Candy ever do something like that? I'm like, people on this show that be on this show, these new characters, these new people that be around, they be reaching and making up stories why would candy ever be going around asking people around why do you think that we are friends because we're not friends and so she basically was telling that to marlo so i guess she started talking to candy about it and bringing it up to candy and then candy was like you clout chasing she said i don't have to clout chase she said yeah you clout chasing you clout chasing and then she said why are you bouncing your ass in my face and i'm like "Uh uh-oh uh oh, Candy getting loud at the party. She ready to fight. Talking about she was gonna headbutt her in the head or something like that because the girl was bouncing all up in her face and she said, I'm gonna need you to stop bouncing at me. Clout ch- talking about you not clout chasing because you clout chasing, like I said. And she, she said, You need to stop bouncing all up in my face. Then I'm like, oh, Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Then, then Kenya and and Sheree were having a little conversation, they were talking, and then. She was like, oh, I see you with Martel or whatever, blah, blah, blah. She said, oh, just to let you know, because I don't want you to find out from someone else that, you know, Martel slid in, in, in my DMs. She basically told Sheree. And Sheree was like, oh, he slid in your DMs. Show me. Show me what you've seen. Show me. Show me. I want to see that. And I'm like, uh-oh. So it's continuing on next episode. So it was this episode was, you know, it was a little bit light. It was light. It was a little bit light. You know, more juicy stuff is happening next week, next week's episode. They're trying to keep it. So it's like this is just part of the episode. The full party is not done because everybody's like, there's a couple of people going back and forth in the party. So very interesting thus far so we see courtney and marlo don't like um candy 
But Marlo from last season really have an issue with Candy. This new Courtney person don't like Candy for no apparent reason. Someone allegedly told her, excuse me, but we don't know who this allegedly person she's talking about is telling her this, that she going around asking if they friends. And, you know, from what they're saying, Courtney, like, Candy really doesn't know this girl, Courtney, who she is for real. So, like, what is this girl talking about? I'm like... Another person that doesn't like Candy for no apparent reason. It's just weird. These people be weird on this show. They don't be liking Candy for no apparent reason. I don't be understanding. So, and then, you know, everybody, Candy is going to go off on Martel next episode, the remainder of the party, which she, which she should, though. Like, if he's sitting here, she's sitting here dating someone, he's around Atlanta dating all these other women, and she's sitting here all hype and happy oh we're officially dating and la 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 and she's all happy he doing that girl you need to be told shoot but for me i would just stay out of it because at this point it's good that she kind of told her but she doesn't have proof of the dms though so it's like you telling her but where's your proof though because he could deny it because in, in your phone you weren't able to show candy or the other lady the DMs of him saying anything to you, you weren't really showing nothing. So, yeah, if you're going to bring up something, you got to screenshot the information. You can't just be like, oh, yeah, he put it my DMs. But you ain't proving it because they it's going to be your word against his. And, of course, he's going to deny it even if he did it. So, can't wait for next week, next Sunday, so I can see what the tea is. Oh, God. So, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think of Housewives of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, ATL, Season 15, Episode 1. Talk to y'all later, YouTube.